Hello my brothers and sisters and welcome back to a bit of a different episode of Crystal Butcher. I'm French. Yes I say it's different because I am doing something different with the steak. Now this might have been done a million times before but before anyone says anything I have not looked so I don't know and I'm not claiming I've made this up. You have seen steak cooked on the coals. Dirty steak, right? You've seen steak cooked in a water bath, sous vide, and then griddled, right? So it's like a uh, reverse seared. This is kind of a reverse seared steak, but I am going to cook my steak first in a steamer. <laughs> video should be short and sweet tonight. As you can see I've got my pan on the stove with boiling water in. I have then got the steamer attachment and then I've got a lid. Now I want to get that steamer up to a bit of temperature so I'm not putting the steak on a cold pan. It's not going to be, not be searing hot is it? As you can see there the steam's coming through. There is our rib eye steak. Take it off. <laughs> Absolutely bang tidy. Now I'm not going to season this at all until we get ready to put it in our griddle pan to give it a bit of a sear. But first things first, let's get it in there shall we. Right, that is warm enough. I'm going to put my steak smack bang in the middle, put the lid on. And I'm going to let that steam for 20 minutes. Now, I know what you're saying. 20 minutes is a long time for the steak. But I am steaming it, essentially. And let's face it. If you put it in a water bath, you've got to leave it for three fucking days, haven't you? Right, my brothers and sisters. I've completely changed this. I have steamed it for seven minutes. I am now going to flip it over. And steam it for another three minutes. So essentially, it's only been steamed for 10 minutes because I think that's all it's going to need. So when that's done, we're going to get it on the block. We're going to season it up and we're going to slide it in some red oil. Right, my brethren. That is my <laughs> ribeye steak. It's been steamed for 10 minutes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to season this side with plenty of salt. Now, I know... It looks a bit withered, doesn't it? <laughs> I've not tried this before, and I'm doing this first time ever on camera. Now we're going to put some black pepper on, far too much. We'll get it in the frying pan, and then we're going to season the other side while it's searing. And here we go. Right, that is my steak now. Seaming, I'm going to Probably see this for about two minutes each side. Let's get this side done. So, and not as much pepper this time. And pepper. What? On some over top for good luck. And uh, yeah, two minutes. We'll flip it. Another two minutes. We'll let it rest for five minutes, and then we'll slide it down the gizzard. Let's jump in for round number two. That's a decent crust. Right, one minute this side, because that's all it needs. And there is our steak. Steamed for 10 minutes, then seared, kind of like a reverse sear. And actually, by the look of it right now, looks like I've completely and utterly fucking destroyed it. Which I probably have. But we're going to still leave this for five minutes before we do anything with it. 
Should we cut this? And see what it's like in the centre. Because I'm not holding much oak. Because I think I've oh, well overcooked it. I'll be honest. Right? Let's just cut big slices like that. Because I'm a greedy bastard anyway. So There we go. Overcooked to buggeration. So, yeah, I don't know. It might taste all right. It might still be tender. My knife went through quite easily. So, let's get up here and slide it down my gizzard. Eh? So, there is the piece of steak. Oh, should I say the piece of shit? That I have just cooked in the steamer for 10 minutes and then seared for two minutes and a minute and a half on the other side. Seasoned with salt and pepper. It smells really good. Let's just slide it down my gizzard. Tastes is fantastic. I salt and pepper, but I'll tell you what. Tough. Final piece. So my brothers and sisters, I am so glad I only steamed that for 10 minutes, right? In actual fact, it probably only needed half that. It sh I should have steamed it for two and a half minutes, turned it over, steamed it for another two and a half minutes, then seared it for a minute each side and it would probably been perfect. Or probably not, right? I steamed it, I'm that I steamed it for 10 minutes, then I cooked it for essentially two and a half minutes in the griddle pan. And I ate. Right now, can you steam cook a ribeye? Uh, no. It was tasty. It was chewy. All the rest of this now, right here, I'm going to take a bit out every day and use it as chewing gum. Because it was like, you know, work boots. <laughs> I've overcooked it, obviously, you can tell that with the colour inside. I overcooked the bugger. Right? So, don't steam a ribeye and cook it exactly how I just cooked it. Half everything. Right? Half it, and it'll probably all be okay. I am not promising anything. <laughs> with my experiment here, I will never ever steam a ribeye steak again. I will leave the steaming to the vegetarians and the fucking vegans. Well, the pescatarians are okay because they'll eat fish. Fish steam's all right, but pescatarians are all right, my butt. Vegetarians are all right, but then vegans are fucking assholes. So if you liked today's episode, press like, comment, share on social media, and subscribe. And become a family member. Uh, that's Team CTB, where I fucking love you.